Ever since YouTube Shorts were launched, creators have suffered from a big problem. Yes, loads of people are watching my YouTube Shorts, but none of them end up watching my long form videos. Well, finally, finally, YouTube has a solution. And it looks like this. Ah, oh, that could have been implemented better. Stick around and I'll tell you what YouTube should have done, along with the steps you'll need to take to maximize what YouTube chose to go with. But first, we need to show you this. It's a relatively new analytic in the YouTube studio that shows you the distribution of views across different video formats. Now we did a full blown video on this analytic and the comments from that video exposed the struggle getting viewers from shorts to long form videos. I think the thoughts of the average YouTube creator will be summed up like this. The algorithm doesn't appear to encourage the discovery of cross platform content. You can either make long form videos or shorts and one type of content will be successful, but not both. However, the evidence here suggests creators do want to make both long form videos and shorts if they had the confidence that the content could be connected in some way. And so YouTube's answer to this is, sure, we can make that happen, do it yourself. And this is a feature that's going to make that happen. A persistent link in the YouTube short with the text taken from a long form video that if you tap on, will jump you straight to that video. To set this up in the YouTube studio, you need to go to the edit page of the YouTube short you want to add the link to and locate the related video option down the right hand side. From here, you can select what you want the short to link to. And it looks like you can choose any format of content, be it long form video, short or live stream. As far as I can tell, you can't yet do this from the YouTube Studio mobile app, but don't be surprised if you'll be able to do that in the future. And this feature is being rolled out to almost all creators. As you can see here on this new channel, I was blocked because I hadn't yet verified my account to unlock advanced features. This can be done at any time, but has criteria linked to it. But now for a really important question. Once you have linked your short to your long, how does YouTube track those views? Well, I did ask YouTube on Twix and they weren't very helpful. So I had to figure it out myself. This is a long form video I linked to from the short. And as you can see from the real time views, it's obvious when I set this up. And the majority of those extra views came from other YouTube features. Now then, get ready for some quick maths. The long form video benefited from around about 1400 views directly linked to the short. And the short itself in the same time period has got 12 and a half thousand views. So that's a link through rate of just over 10%, which sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Now there's a pretty good reason why this number was so high. The short was all about this new feature and it had a pretty big call to action to test. But if there is a link right here, by the time you see this video, give it a click and you'll be helping us out. Cheers. And all of a sudden, 11% of that YouTube audience is now aware of my long form content. Thank you, YouTube. This is the tool that makes sense and delivers results but you could have done better. Because you see, there was a thing called YouTube Stories where you could take a video link and actually post it on the video like a sticker. And that is far more clickable than a little bit of text at the bottom of the short. I don't know why they didn't use that. To me, it feels like a missed opportunity. I'm just never happy, am I? I've always got an ax to grind with YouTube. Anyway, Here's three steps to take to get the best out of these new YouTube Shorts content links. The YouTube Short itself must provide value. It can't just be used as a trailer for the long form piece of content. Be very intentional and persuasive with the call to action. Tell them where they need to click and why. And don't link to another video in every single short because that's just going to irritate your regular viewers. This is going to be the key to solving one of the biggest problems YouTube creators have with Shorts, but not the biggest one. Why does this happen? Why do my shorts suddenly get loads of views and then flatline? It can feel like the YouTube algorithm is against you. And you could be right, but you need to watch this video to find out. 